We've arrived at another pivotal moment. After a significant wait, SpaceX has announced that the second Starship launch is on the books for this month. However, let's not gloss over our past experiences. Remember September? We were all set for the Starship to take to the skies, with a launch window from September 8th to September 13th. But that didn't happen, as complications with regulatory bodies put a stop to the countdown. Here we are again, facing another promise of launch. Can we take this one to heart, or is it going to be another letdown? We'll tackle that question and discuss whether this launch is going to make history or not. Stick with us to the end for the full details. And while you're here, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to keep up to date on all things Starship, and to stay informed about what's next in space travel. Let's get into it. SpaceX's Starship is ready for another test flight, according to the company's recent update on Twitter. They've released a video showing the rocket at sunset, indicating that they're aiming for a launch in mid-November, a more specific timeline than their previous announcements in September and October. The final prep for the launch took place last week, including a test of the water deluge system that protects the launch pad and nearby wetlands. SpaceX has been running these test sequences at the Starbase facility in Texas. One of these tests was publicly showcased on October 20th, 2023. More tests are expected as they work towards the actual flight. Local beaches have been closed during these tests for safety, but spectators can still catch a glimpse of the action from South Padre Island. Now, SpaceX and space fans alike are waiting for the FAA to issue the necessary launch approvals. Should all regulatory approvals be granted in time, we might witness this milestone as early as November 13th. The company aims to commence the launch in the morning, around 8 a.m. local time at their South Texas facility. The upcoming flight is expected to mirror the first test conducted in April, with a 90-minute journey planned for the Starship upper stage. This test will push the boundaries of innovation, as the vehicle is designed to complete nearly a full orbit around Earth before gracefully descending into the Pacific Ocean near the island of Kauai. One significant innovation to note is the introduction of a hot staging technique, which will see the Starship's Raptor engines ignite prior to its detachment from the Super Heavy booster. This presents a more complex challenge compared to the traditional method of post-separation engine ignition. Nevertheless, it's a strategic move that could significantly enhance Starship's payload capacity to orbit. In this test, SpaceX has decided not to attempt to recover either the first or second stage of the rocket. The focus instead is on rigorously assessing the Super Heavy's flight capabilities and, should the stack successfully reach separation, evaluating the Starship's performance in flight. Musk has estimated the probability of Starship reaching its intended destination on this flight at around 60%. In addition to the hot staging mechanism, SpaceX will debut several other upgrades both to the rocket itself and the launch infrastructure. These include an enhanced electronic thrust vector control system. Since the first flight test, the Federal Wildlife Service has been examining one of the pivotal upgrades, a water-cooled steel flame deflector integrated with a water deluge system. As of early Sunday morning, the agency had not provided any updates on their progress. The main regulatory hurdle that is keeping us all wait is an environmental review, which is currently pending with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Earlier in the week, the Federal Aviation Administration announced the completion of its safety review of the Starship Super Heavy, signifying that the environmental review remains the final substantial hurdle before the FAA can issue a license for the flight. I don't know if you've noticed, but the Federal Aviation Administration has recently picked up the pace in its regulatory processes, and it's not just coincidental. This change seems to be a response to pressures from space industry leaders, including SpaceX, who voiced their concerns during a Senate hearing three weeks ago. The leaders from SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic called for improvements in the FAA's regulatory and licensing procedures to keep up with the fast pace of space technology developments. At the hearing, SpaceX's vice president made a strong case, stressing the urgency for the United States to advance its space capabilities especially given the competitive space race with China. This wasn't only about getting American astronauts back to the moon, but also about staying ahead in the global space exploration scene. Their effort to push for regulatory reform appears to be effective. 
The FAA has finished the safety review for SpaceX's launch license, which is a significant step forward. Now, SpaceX and the rest of the space community are just waiting for the environmental go-ahead from the Fish and Wildlife Service. This is the last checkpoint before SpaceX can lock in a launch date. NASA is also closely monitoring the development of Starship, given its vital role in the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. The groundbreaking spacecraft, poised to be the largest and most potent rocket ever designed, is crucial for NASA's plans to land astronauts on the moon's ice-rich South Pole through the Artemis III mission. This mission would mark humanity's grand return to lunar soil after the Apollo program's last journey in 1972. Starship's pivotal role in the Artemis program has NASA vested in every step of SpaceX's progress. However, concerns have surfaced regarding the ambitious timeline. NASA's target date for the Artemis III mission is currently set for December 2025, but recent comments from NASA officials suggest that the goal may be overly optimistic. Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, expressed significant reservations about meeting the 2025 deadline. He said, December 2025 is our current manifest date, but with the difficulties that SpaceX has had, I think that's really, really concerning. One of the most critical technical hurdles that SpaceX is grappling with is perfecting in-orbit propellant transfer technology. This process is essential for the Starship's lunar mission, as it involves refueling the spacecraft in orbit to ensure it has enough fuel for the journey to the moon, the landing operations, and the return trip to Earth. In preparation for these missions, SpaceX has been on the clock to fine-tune Starship's design and performance. The spacecraft's success in demonstrating in-orbit propellant transfer is a linchpin for the Artemis program's timeline. It's not just a single flight that's at stake, it's the demonstration of a capability that will be foundational for sustainable lunar exploration and beyond. Meanwhile, SpaceX has continued to break new ground in the realm of rocket reusability. On Friday, a Falcon 9 rocket launched 23 of SpaceX's Starlink satellites into orbit from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This launch was a record-breaking 18th mission for this particular Falcon 9's first stage booster. Post-mission, the first stage executed a pinpoint landing on the drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas in the Atlantic Ocean, while the upper stage continued its mission to deploy the satellites in low Earth orbit. This consistent push for reusability is core to SpaceX's vision for making Mars settlement a reality. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.